Have you ever tried these glasses, the pinhole glasses? I need uh, probably 150, 175 to read writing on a piece of paper. These pinholes make everything extremely clear. I wonder how that works. No idea. This is a video response to a YouTuber I really like. I like this Charlie Beach guy. He, uh, he, uh, he comes up with stuff all the time. He's a bit depressed. Uh, it's indigeny, uh, the power of hate. <laughs> the power of hate. He's a little overwhelmed. I think he's getting a lot of, uh, he's getting pummeled by uh, the negativity on YouTube. This is something uh, I've not experienced on a great level because not too many people watch what I do. But uh, I, I, I feel it all around me, the idea of, uh, of having people around that uh, you're, you're aware of something and uh, they don't get it. They don't get it. Now, as a painter, I am working, and by the way, in the background, you see a very positive painting. In, in reaction to the hate that Charlie feels, I have a positive painting in the back. It's my version of the, uh, I, I, well, it had to do with supersymmetry. I, this is, I, I did this painting in the 90s and it had to do with supersymmetry and the idea and Charlie in his, uh, in his video, indigeny, I call it indigenous, indigeny, the birthright. I like the idea of indigeny, the birthright. We have a birthright. We need to live up to our birthright. He's nailed something here and uh, probably uh, moving into it as he uh, progresses in his life, he's going to move into this concept of indigenous, indigeny, birthright. And uh, the birthright is in the, uh, well, hey, supersymmetry. I I uh, had my own version of this in the 90s. Anyway, my response to this, and sometimes I really enjoy uh, piggybacking on uh, different people that I like or even dislike. There are people I dislike. I have done this with LaRouche or Webster Tarpley or Alex Jones or even to some extent David Icke. Uh, some people that are uh, uh, tend to be what I consider to be windbags. But then you have this other contingent on YouTube which are real people, real people that I would never actually disparage. I would never, a real person I will not disparage. Uh, these are people that don't have, uh, uh, what do you know? It's like uh, a great following in terms of popular culture. Uh, although Charlie has uh, quite a number of people that are subscribing, uh, over 60,000, that's fantastic. Now here is, here is my response. Uh, I'm just sort of piggybacking on this. I'm a subscriber, I listen, something comes up. Uh, it says ding-a-ling. Uh, my uh, inbox says somebody has that you've subscribed to load something. And I don't, I don't subscribe to too many channels. I may have maybe 20 or so. Uh, so anyway, here's, here's what I thought. Birthright, birthright and indigeny. A follow-up. I did a thing on this already. I've done this before. It's not just this one. It's like I love this whole indigeny idea about us as human beings. The freeple, the freeple have a birthright. And this is how it works. Of course, it's frustrating. It uh, quite often I feel very angry, especially with Fukushima. I have to tell you, people. Fukushima, Charlie, Fukushima, pay attention. This is uh, a completely uh, epic event. It's on the level of the extinction of dinosaurs. The nuclear industry is pummeling us. We are not going to survive this unless something, unless something happens that counteracts this incredible disaster we're facing with Fukushima. I have posted about Fukushima, my mascot for this epic event of destruction, Fukushima, Shiva. Now I am become death destroyer of worlds, Oppenheimer, when he saw the explosion of the bomb. This is Fukushima, Fukushima. It's happening present time. This is happening now. So forget your fucking anger. Here's how it works. We got to be in front of the curve, ahead of the curve, ahead of the whole thing. Not a, not a reaction to, but create the action. We need to create the action as conscious beings, as 
Freeple. I don't know, maybe I picked that up on your video as Freeple. We want to be ahead of the curve. Forget this whole shit that's coming down. People are going to, I've had, I've had blowback on certain videos, so what, big deal. I come to the studio, I make paintings, I'm ahead of the curve. That's the idea. I'm ahead of the curve. We need to be ahead of the ahead of the actions, not be reactive. We need to be active. So my whole thing about being a painter is that I'm being ahead, ahead. And now ahead doesn't mean ahead of my time. It just means that I am not reacting to. I am ahead. So the the way to resolve this indigenous indigene indigene as you like to call it, I say. In indigene, indigene is being ahead of the curve. You're not subject to all the things that are coming at you. You're in front of that. It's like surfing the wave. It's not like being swamped by the wave. It's surfing the wave. The birthright is surfing the wave, not being pummeled or destroyed or covered by the wave. That's art. That's painting. That's what I do. My response, be ahead, of, be ahead of this wave. Don't be covered by the wave. The hate is being covered by the wave. Now anger, on the other side, I appreciate a good piss off. I, I'm, I'm like a lot of the painting is, a lot of the painting I do is based on a good deal of piss off and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. But in terms of the overall picture, we need to be ahead of this curve. That's what it means. Charlie Beach, indigene, ahead of the curve. Hope that makes sense.